I am Suzanne Marie with Psychic Cast, and I welcome you to my show tonight. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you for so, so much for calling in. We are A1R Psychic Radio, and we have some really wonderful shows. So I hope that if you have any questions that need answering, you will go ahead and check out the schedule and call in and give it a try. We have many good good readers. So um, yeah, we have a lot of things going on cosmically. And one of them tonight for me is Mercury Retrograde. And that will be happening around the 9th. And that means communication and emails and things will be delayed or just generally messed with. So that's what's happening with me today. And um, another thing that will be happening is the full moon. And I believe it's on the 10th and it's in Pisces. So as I always say, full moons usually represent uh, letting go of the things that no longer serve us or benefit us. And in Pisces, I do believe that many people will be, be affected with an, a spiritual awakening or something very spiritual and soulful. And um, that's a good thing but that's a hard thing. So I hope that many people, anyone who is dealing with a spiritual awakening will get the net networking and the support you need because it's um, it feels very, very awful or ugly, but it's not. It's really uh, ascension, taking your, your soul to a higher plane. And also, we're going to be getting rid of our illusions. And that's a hard one. So I hope that everyone just just is networked and, and connected to people who love and care about you. If you feel that you're going through this in the next month, um, it's, going to, it's going to be good, but it's going to be kind of struggle. So, um, yeah. So if you want to uh, write me, oh, Joanna in Indianapolis. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm happy to be talking to you. <laughs> how, um, how can I help you tonight? I'm, I'm honored that you called. I really do love to, to share. Um. Can you remind me, do you do mediumship or just yes. psychic readings yes. or? I do uh, the clairvoyant readings and the mediumship readings. So if there's a question okay. you have, go ahead. Um, well, I'm, I've been torn. I, I kind of want a mediumship reading to talk to ancestors if they want to talk to me, but I also have really impending um, financial stuff going on so um, I, I guess just whatever whatever you pick up on if you want a, a, a 15 or a 20 minute reading um, this weekend I will offer you that if you just write at readings by Suzanne at gmail.com and we can set up a time and I can give you a reading but yeah, let's see. I'll do that. Let's see what's going on here too. Um, there's a great many people on the other side for you. Um, I sense them, but nobody's coming forward. Um, <laughs> I sense, from what I sense of this group, what I sense is that they were they were caught 
and this is the nearest ancestors, let's say 1900 to the 1950s, they feel, they don't feel enlightened. They don't feel enlightened. It's not a judgment on, on my part. They feel that as though they went about life without seeking anything outside of the things that they already knew. And they didn't self-reflect, if that makes sense. Um, it was what you see is what you get. And you you live and you work. And, and that's how life is supposed to be. Um, that's the general feeling that I get. I get that there are, an ant is coming forward, I believe, um, a full-figured lady. Um, I feel like there was love and there was support, but I just feel like, um, I feel that some of your, your ancestors feel sad that they didn't take an opportunity during life to to grow, you know, to do the personal growing. Um, well, I did have a, a pretty Catholic family, so I don't know if, if that has anything to do with them not wanting to come forward because <laughs> they would I, I probably think... be mad at me for coming to a psychic to talk to them, but... Um, I don't think there's a, mad. there's a couple of grandmothers and a grandpa out there that I do really wish I could speak to. <laughs> I feel like a grandmother's coming forward. I don't believe that they're angry. I think that religion is for the, the earth. I don't believe that that happens or that's a big stigma after passing. Then they realize, oh, everything is one, you know, and, and the, the religion part is less important than how you lived and, and evolved as a person. Um, yeah. Well, so uh, the person that's coming through, can you ask if they passed recently or maybe around eight years ago? Both of my grandmothers are in spirit. One of them. Yeah, I see. The other. I see one grandma and she's full of love. Um, and she has smiled a lot, is what I'm getting. There were smiles. Um, she's given me recently. Um, yeah. And I, I would say 2018 to maybe 2021 is what she's giving me. Um, it was just, it, she, she had a long decline of health where she was mentally here, but, um, it finally came to conclusion in December. Okay. Um, she's saying that there were people around as she, as she was passing, um, and she could, she could hear other people talking and the conversations, um, but she wasn't verbal. There's a time when she wasn't verbal. Um, yeah, by the time I got there to see her off, um, she couldn't talk back to me. But yeah, everybody she's, a, she's aware that you were there. Um, and, and, and I'm seeing that when you came, somebody else left. Was that, was that a rule of the hospital? Because it seems like you walk in and someone has to go. Um, I don't know if it was a rule of the hospital, but family was, was around all the time and, and cycling back and forth. And, and um, yes, my aunt, my aunt left when I came in. Um, okay. It, it was like and, she she kind of, I don't know if she waited for me to be there to pass, but um, yeah. she heard you too. She heard you, and I believe that you had something to comfort her with. 
because she's saying that there was comfort when you came, that there was a, a giving of affection and comfort. Um, I am so sorry for yeah, you. Yeah, um, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just emotional because um, uh, she, she died of COVID. So they had us all oh. dressed up in suits and I just, um, I, I took off my gloves and I took off the, the hood and I, I touched her feet and I told her she did a good job and everybody's here and she could go home. She heard you and she appreciated And very that. shortly after she did. I'm sorry? She appreciated that. She heard you and it felt like she wanted to stay. She didn't want to leave. And so you gave her no, permission. Um, I have about three more minutes, so we'll keep this in mind. Um, okay. She has a lot to say. It seems like, we, oh, I got 60 minutes or 60 seconds. So write me on my email, please, and we can continue, all right? Sure. You said readings by Suzanne? At gmail.com, yes. Please do that. I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, and you have a good night. We'll continue. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, everyone. Have a good week. I will see you again next week. Same time, same place. Bye.